Yes, yeah, so I'll answer that which I can regarding this. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So Al Khidr, um, we have, from what I know, we have received information about him regarding the companions who knew, uh, which is called the uh, Israeliyat, right? Things that have been taken from Muslims who used to be Jewish, right? And I don't remember the companion's name, but there was a certain companion who uh, was a Jew and his conversion to Islam, he brought that which was in the people of the book's text and they use these things to kind of try to connect some things that Allah hasn't necessarily given us. And Allah didn't need to. Allah gave us that which we just needed and we just take it as that. So answering the question regarding Al-Khidr, even I stated before um, I wasn't going to necessarily give him that name because we have to be uh, careful with uh, adding things from the Israeliyat. And what we say is we don't necessarily deny what the people of the book, the information that they've given us to help us with that which we have and to support that which we have. Uh, and we also don't fully accept it in a sense that, so we don't fully accept nor we fully deny, right? We just, we say Allahu A'lam. And it points to that his name is Al-Khidr from the things that Allah gives us in the Quran and what connects with the stories of the people of the book. So that's what that is. And Allah actually refers to him in the, in the glorious Quran as um, uh, as his servant, as his ibad, right? As, a, as an ab, as a servant. Just like how, right? Uh, uh, as we say, uh, Nashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Right? So we acknowledge and we say that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the abd, meaning the, for a better translation, the servant of Allah, slave. Correct? But also we know as Rasul, and this is what Allah has called the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inside the Quran. So this gives reason for others to also believe that he may have been a prophet. So, out of this respect, we are taught to send peace upon Al Khidr uh, because a lot of things point to him being a prophet in the views of some of the scholars, but we can't say wholeheartedly because Allah didn't say that in his Quran, nor what I know of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not say that in his uh, traditions in any of his hadith. So, alhamdulillah, that would be the answer to that question.